Welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. Our video today will cover how to design and conduct experiments with spreadsheets. So you see here we've written a post about this, which you can find on SpreadsheetSolving.com slash posts. But a neat thing with the videos, you can see us go through step by step how we're going to conduct this experiment. Okay, so let's dive right on in. What's our research question? Well, you can see here, we've got some seedlings here. Our research question is, what is the impact of organic soil on a seedling's height? Okay, so let's dive in. What would our game plan be? Here, first, we want to make sure we have an unbiased sampling design. And one way to ensure that is to have a random assignment of the soil type on the seedling. So in this case, we have 104 seedlings, and we're going to divide them into two groups. One group will receive, say, organic soil, and the other group will receive the non-organic soil. And after 30 days, we will measure the heights and compare the differences between the two groups. And if, actually, we can then use a statistical test to see whether the difference is significant, and we will cover that in a future video. But for now, let's understand how to set up the sampling design, how to collect the data, and how we can begin analyzing it. So, going back to what we were talking about in terms of random assignment, one way we can randomly assign the soil type to the seed is to use a coin flip. So if you've got a coin, go on ahead and use it. Otherwise, another neat application of spreadsheets is you can replicate a coin flip. So here in the screen, we've got a way to replicate a coin flip. I'm not going to go into any depth on how we replicate it. You can check this out on our website. But essentially, we use the RAND between formula to replicate this coin flip. So I'm going to flip it by hitting Control-R. Before I do, let's think about this. If the coin lands, say, heads, we're going to give one group of the seedlings, say, organic soil. Well, let's say Let's characterize the two groups as even-numbered seedlings and odd-numbered seedlings. That will ensure we have two equal groups. Okay, so I'm going to flip the coin. If the coin says heads, then we are going to assign the even-numbered seedlings with organic soil. Okay, control R. I hit it, and it stayed at heads. So we've got heads now, which means that all are even-numbered seedlings will receive organic soil, which means that by default the other group, which we'll say are the odd number seedlings, will receive the non-organic soil. Okay, so now we've got 104 seedlings. It's going to take a long time to write down non-organic, organic, non-organic, organic, non organic. We can use the equal sign here and actually then just copy and paste this down because you will see here for every odd number, you will be associated with a non-organic soil, and for every even number, it's the organic soil. So we can copy and paste this formula down, and there you have it. You've got, for every odd-numbered seedling, you've got the soil type assigned to it as non-organic and vice versa. Okay, so we've got these two columns set up. I would recommend copying the non-organic, organic soil type, and copying these as, pasting these as values. And I did that pretty quickly. What I did was, I copied this, then you can go into edit. I used the keyboard functions as a shortcut. Click paste special and paste values only. Another way you could do that quickly is to do alt ESV. Okay, so these are all copied as values. And the reason I want to do that now is later on when we want to sort data, um, it'll be very easy to sort it um, and you'll make sure that the data is correct because often if you don't have these as values and you sort, the formulas will reference something that you don't want referenced. Okay, so now we've got the sampling design set up. What we are going to do now is to now plant these two groups of seedlings in the respective non-organic or organic soil. And what we really want to do is to try to be consistent because we want to try to reduce the effect of uncontrollable factors. So for these two groups, we want to try to keep the amount of sunlight, water, temperature, humidity constant or as consistent as possible across the two groups because what we really care about is the effect of the soil type 
on the height of the seed line. Okay, so now 30 days have passed and we're going to now measure the height of the seed line for both groups. So I've created this already and I have here sample heights for each of the seedlings measured 30 days after being planted. So again, spreadsheets are a great way for you to collect and organize your data, which we have here. For 104 seedlings, we've got the height measured. And remember when I talked about sorting the data and the reason we wanted these to stay as values? It's just that we have now sorted the data by odd numbers or by soil type. All the odd numbers receive the non-organic soil and you'll see later on in our spreadsheet, all the even numbered received organic soil. Okay, perfect. So now we've got the data collected. We've already done our sampling design. Now we can analyze our data. What you see here in this tab is we've done some descriptive statistical analysis. And that includes calculating the mean, median, and mode, which are, which are measures of central tendency or the typical value. We've got measures of dispersion, outliers, quartiles. So these here are a basic way to begin analyzing the distribution of your data set. Okay, so we've got individual tutorials on each of these functions so you can feel free uh, to delve into those if you want uh, more details about each of these functions. Now not only do you, can you calculate these statistics but you can then chart them and as you can see here when we chart them in a column chart you find that Blue represents organic, red non-organic, meaning these are the seedlings grown in these types of soils. And you can see based on these measures, mean, median, and mode, the organically grown seedlings were on average taller, higher than the non-organically grown seedlings. And here are measures of dispersion as well. And you can also see that the organic soils also had a higher dispersion from the typical, higher dispersion from the mean relative to the non-organic soil. Okay, so this is a preview of our sampling design, data collection, and analysis. In our subsequent video, we're also going to talk about how to conduct a, hypothe a hypothesis test. Uh, specifically, we're going to look at a two-sample z-test of equal proportions. Okay, again, for more information, you can find all this in our spread, uh, website, spreadsheetsolving.com, where you can find this particular post listed here. Okay, we'll see you next time.